in this video, we're going to talk about how to cross over like Nathan McKinnon. My name is Jason Yee. This is Train 2.0. I'm a kinesiologist, former professional hockey player, and the founder of Train 2.0. And in this video, we're going to show you the uncommon steps, no pun intended, to crossing over like Nathan McKinnon. Now, the biggest misconception in learning to cross over in general is the word crossover. Um, because the biggest issue that we see is that people, you know, they do the standing crossover drill or they do all sorts of, you know, crazy things that are just totally unrelated to what the best on the planet do what the best movers do so if you want to move like the best movers you have to you have to move like them you have to study them and part of that means developing a different language so the crossover I am declaring as dead it is now called the cross under and we can use McKinnon as a great example of the cross under. Now, this is a, a, a different style from what you're going to see with a Barzal or a McDavid. Uh, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly McKinnon's cross under style. So some of the key parts is that this is, in fact, a cross under. You know, typically you would see something like a, you know, cross under or a cross over and you'd see someone say, hey, you know, what's going on here is a crossover. I mean, look, this leg is crossing over, right? That's that's what most people would say, and that's why it's a crossover. That's why people use that word. But the way that the top crossover errs, let's, let's call them the cross unders, the way they actually move is they actually put a lot more weight on their inside foot and therefore their outside edge. And then that leads to uh, more of a mechanical advantage when it comes to the distance they can push. So if you look here, look how much weight McKinnon's putting on his inside foot, outside edge, and then how tipped his hips are and how far he can extend through that foot. Now look where this foot plants, the supposed crossover foot. It, it's essentially right in front, right? It doesn't like go that distance, it just stops right there. Right? And, it, and it gives a little bit of pushing, but not as much, definitely, as this inside foot. Look how much weight is on this foot. Look how much we're on the outside edge. And then we have quite a distance. You can see how tipped over those hips are and how much distance McKinnon can actually push off that inside foot. So here's another example, another great example of that cross under that you're going to see and what you're really you're really going to see the amount of power that McKinnon has on his inside foot outside edge inside foot and remember this is a little different than Barzell and and, and uh, McDavid but so as we go here you can see just how much uh, McKinnon is pushing with this inside foot right so you can see quite a launch quite a leap and you can see the hips are tipped. There's a lot of extension here, and that's going to give him quite a distance. And you know he's actually he has enough power in his legs to kind of launch himself into the air. Um, but a lot of that's going to come from his mechanics. Um, and so you can see that this foot doesn't actually cross like in front. It doesn't cross over. It more sort of just crosses in front. Hence the term cross under, right? And yeah, there is a bit of a push there. But just pay attention to how far that push actually is let's say it starts here and then it ends comes off the ice there but look how much further that that this um you know inside leg can really create extension so it's like from here and like you can just see how much further it can move you right i think probably the better way to show that is from here to there right like how much that can move i know the camera's tracking him but you know when we compare that from here to here you know it's it's really like there's a little bit it doesn't even really move him a ton and i know there's the camera angle thing going on but you can see clearly that it's the inside foot doing most of that pushing right and mckinnon is very very good at using this inside foot to be generating that extension all right, and here's one more last great example where you're really gonna see that power of the inside foot 
and you know exactly how much pressure McKinnon's putting on it and how that can even you know he can even still use that to this this mechanic right here is something we call a shuffle right and so that's a crossover or cross under there crossover step with his left foot and then he does what we call a shuffle to get around the d-man here and then he can actually turn that right into another cross under push and we actually often see McDavid in, in positions like this where he has the inside leg so far back that he just slips off that defender. Um, and so this is a really great, um, you know, when, when you're pushing off that inside leg and you have those hips tilted on your cross unders, uh, it's actually a really great way to accelerate around. And you can see how McKinnon's even still able to protect the puck. Um, obviously, he changes his stance here, uh, but you can really see how this can be used to accelerate around players. Now, after watching this, I'm sure you can see that this is an uncommon mechanic, and um, you know it's something that you can learn and, and apply to your own movement. Um, so this is part of something we call the downhill skating system, which is finding the mechanical advantages in skating that the top NHLers use. Uh, and we teach that to any player, really. Um, so if you're the type of player that believes that you can learn any complex skill, you can break it down into learnable chunks and teach it to yourself, we've discovered that you can, then I invite you to check out the Downhill Skating System. I've prepared a webinar for you uh, where you can sign up and learn more about that. So if you want to do that, I welcome you to check out that free webinar. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.